Then I'm not uh, for everybody remember my grandson. I yes, told you, great grandson, yes. six year old, <coughs> having heart surgery, family heart surgery, yeah. uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Pray for us as we yeah. go down there. I've never been. I uh, mean, I've been on pastor, but I've never been in in that uh, town of Nashville where this went round. But anyway, pray that God will help us to make it safer yeah. down there. And pray for his mom and. This grandpa and others is lost. It's got to get hold of them. I'm just glad somebody prayed for you one day. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Oh, of course, we'll pray. Brother Danny, remember John and Becky? Yes, thank you, honey. Yeah. And we had to pray for our boys this morning. Do you all remember me? I, I don't remember me. God's given me the talent to play the guitar and the piano. Oh my. Then when I get up there, I freeze, you know? And I didn't get what I'm tired of, I I just That's all right. I don't know, I just bless him, Lord. I, I just I wanna do in my heart what God wants me to do. Hey, Amen. When I get behind the pulpit and I, I choke, I just and I'm just I'm pretty much tired of it because I, I want you know I want to do what I, I feel in my heart, and when I get up there, I just bless you. I just choke me out. I'm just uh, I'm tired of being scared. You know, desires of yours. And we we serve God. He says He said we live up right for him. I don't want to come in the brother's gonna bring that here in me. He said He would hold no good thing from us. So let's pray. That's God. But the. I've been playing, like I said, I don't know, I don't know, no, I can't read no music. I don't know when to keep another another every instrument I play. I just play by ear. And uh, uh, I played in church uh, with us about 13, 14 years old. Every time I get up, I still get nervous. But I, I know what you're saying, but I mean, if, if it's a hindrance, we'll pray God for the cure. Appreciate people using their talent for the Lord. Amen. God bless the young lady. Seems like a little angel. I'm going to say it's about to hear a You're going to you you share a song with the Lord here in a minute. I'm going to do it. Be much impressed. Anyone else that's spoken to the voice for the prayer? I'm happy to remember the people I work with and remember my son, Brian. Remember the different one we've invited. Uh, well, Lord knows this one. We've invited many people that's not made that. I mean, I'm not being critical, but the community needs need the Lord. That's right. Amen. We all need the Lord. We, some, some realize that some I need him worse, worse today than I did yesterday, and I'll need him worse tomorrow than I did today. Amen. We need each other's prayers. We need each other's support. And we need, if, if, if we can get a level of in this time, to do it. That may be about it, but, uh, very few we can buy to share with it. And let's just pray. Like I told you, when I started passing here, I said, you know, the church was down for a good while. It was, you know, it wasn't being used. Many people found other churches, and I said, that's fine. I said, you found a Bible believing church whenever they ask me to pastor here, and I accept it. I said, you tell them to make sure that people know that if they found a Bible believing church, stay where you're at. I don't believe in God, you know, one way in the church. But there's more than enough people, and I don't mean to be critical, but I'm just being honest. There's more than enough people in this community and communities everywhere that don't even darken the church door. Come more than feel our church. More than a church. Those are the ones I was talking about. Be much encouraged. There's so much to eat. Who else got to open this place for prayer? I'd like y'all remember us in your prayers. We desire your prayers. Remember the number ones over at church. We got several sick and afflicted. And I uh, found out this morning that uh, one of my cousins, named Sue, she's down in Abingdon Hospital, uh, got cancer pretty bad, and they got her on, in the hospice unit down there, and it just hit her sort of all of a sudden. All of a sudden, uh, so y'all be much in prayer for her. She's got, uh, she got two daughters, grown. She got some grandkids there, and I know it's uh, devastating to them, but got a chance to talk to them a little bit there this evening. And, and uh, we're going to go down the first thing in the morning and spend some time with them, pray with them, be with them. So y'all be much in prayer for that. And I know they've got family members that's lost, and I just hope the Lord gives me something to, uh, enough to say to them and 
born the right way. Amen. Y'all be much in prayer for that. Yes. And uh, we got several over at home at six. Y'all remember them? Several of them. Be much in prayer. And yeah, we've all got lost loved ones. Whether it's in your meeting family or someone here, you can That's right. We all know someone. It's just like cancer. We're talking about the day probably one of the message about about different things, but you know, God. There's reasons for everything. God knows what it's going to take to be cured. That's right. That's right. He knows what it's going to take to be cured. Thank God for someone that had enough desire. Another God in the prayer for me. Hey. Uh, anyone else got spoken to question for the Have an unspoken question. Yes, that's all. The ones that we we do you know around all the some of us got health issues that makes it difficult. To, but anyone that's Feel free to kneel around the altar. You can't. That's all. The rest of us stand your feet and just go to the Lord in your own words and in your own way. If I just good to pray this down tonight to be with us. If we ever need the Lord, we need Him today and however we live in Him. Yeah. Let, let us each and every one pray. I'll ask Brother Spencer or if you would please to lead us the Lord in prayer. Let's all pray. Lord Jesus, we come most to you, Lord, and Father, and we come to you, 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 and we Lord, <laughs> Just a little bit to preach the word of God that you reach down and on him from the heavens above. Touch him and use him tonight. And Lord, we pray for the ones here tonight. Lord, if there's one that's lost and undone and don't know Christ and that free pardon of sin, Father, we pray that you'll say something, stir their hearts and use them. Lord, convict their hearts and point them to Christ and point them to Calvary. Let them understand it and accept it before it's too late. Father, we thank you. Be with us and bless us. In your son's name I pray. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, if they did them other back there, I'd seen them with you, and you, you grabbed them. Drag them up to the very end. What's it? Just don't wait for them. Be much as careful. How are you? 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 That song you sung the other night, I don't know the name of it, I can never hear it before, but that's the last place it did. Uh, I don't even, I don't know. Uh, well, just, just say what I've got, put it on the heart, honey, that's fine. <laughs> 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 
Maybe, I don't know, guys. <laughs>
Good job. Right. Good job. Good job. <coughs> Good job. <coughs> Yeah. 
song and I'll try to remember if I can. I ain't sung it in a while. <clears throat> One Friday morning in Jerusalem Second, the weight of my sins were all cast upon <laughs> yeah. him and freely he bore yes. them yes. taking my shame yeah. And proven he loved me. Praise his right. holy name. <laughs> and then one Sunday morning, Sing it, bro. at the breaking of day, Sing it, Mary and Martha from the stone rolled away, and death held no victory over God. Son. Hallelujah, he's risen. The battle is won. Hallelujah, he's risen. Mary has seen him. He's alive and walking on Galilee's shore. Hallelujah, he's risen. Thank you, Jesus. Appreciate it. Anyone else got anything to share with me? Hey. You want to go song or test mine? Mind the Spirit of God. Hey, Amen. Mind the Spirit of God. I just like to thank God for saving me and what He's done in my life. Yes. We're looking forward to what He's going to do. Hey, Amen. Amen. That's, a, that's a good, that's a good, a good outlook. I have God on this place. You want to go anything on the heart? I'm going to let them keep you out of the way. You want to go anything? Better go back to We'd like to say a few words. David's talking about not how he used to be. That brought back memories to me the way I used to be. And I'm not proud of it. But this one here tonight that I want to tell is I used to be bad to drink. And I had a daughter, she's five or six years old. 
she, last time I got drunk, she said, Daddy, I can't stand you when you're drunk. And I didn't touch her. Go up since then. Yes. And I thank God put that word in her mouth. Yes. Yes. Amen. You know yes. what I'm talking about, Lisa. She put that word in her mouth so I would bring them over. You say, God, don't you chill when you're drunk. Come on. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Amen. <laughs> Anyone else have anything, Sherwood? We'll make a joyful noise. I got to testify at the beginning of the service. I said, if the devil tries to keep anyone, anyone discouraged. Brandy, he's a, he's a good mandolin player. He said he put new strings on the mound this evening. Tuned it up and said, first thing notes, strings broke. And he said, didn't have no other set. I said, I said, well, come on. I said, we have to sing acapella with wood. I had to bust it. So. No, real quick, I, I let a mechanic work on a truck or I let somebody work on a man and work on a man. <laughs> I just do my best to pick it. But y'all pray for us. And y'all pray for me. I can have my feet out of my back. Curves them back my legs, I might not be able to stand up here too long. So if I fall, baby, you jump in here behind me. Yeah. I'll get you, bro. I'm not going to miss that manly kick off. Yeah, that's kind of through so little but I really enjoyed the singing. And that girl, I'll tell you what she can sing. You are a blessing. I'll tell you what she can sing. I'll tell you. I really enjoyed the singing so far. Bless you. Know, we, we need you say, well, what what what, what my testimony work? But what's a little old song that I sang work? Bless you. Know, you may not know you might have a kid in certain circumstances. Right. Uh, but somebody I heard I heard an old preacher say a long time ago he preached a message about you know, Jesus' is first miracle. Oh Mary's peace came, remember? You know, they ran out of wine. Told people. You know, the earth comes over Jesus. Ours, not you comes. What's that place? He told the people, he said, whatever he says to you, do you do with us. Remember how he told them, fill the water pockets. Water and fill them all up in the drink. He said, now they're all the serve. That's the God we serve. Hey. You never know when you might have kids. We need each other's prayers. That's right. Bless you. Dear. I mean, what do you need? My prayers are not mine. I'm going to pray for you. Yay. God knows I need your prayers. Yay. We're going home, son. Too much of prayer for me. Come on. To teach us right from wrong. Hey, Lord, we need our old fashioned seeker. Come on. Just lift my name up to hey. 
in the body of course going to take me on to use it. On in the court of glory someday. Be, be much in prayer for us. It's, it's time to meet the whole Lord. Once my clothes were ragged, hey. the world looked down on me. I had no hope for tomorrow, nor for eternity. Hey. Then grace came with mercy hey. and heard hey. this orphan's plea. Yeah. 
So they'll know the right way. Yeah, 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 yeah. The world's a living a loose life. Yeah. They're living Come a on. life, praise God. But I thank God for those that's living by the cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. 
the right way. Yes, sir. There's been things that's been handed down through time, yeah. down through generation and generation, and it has true. not changed. Amen. Yeah. Bless him. And the Word of God's one of them. The there truth is. is one of them. It's never right. changed. It, the Bible said, let God be truth and never matter what. Amen. 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 You pray tonight. Bless him. It's been this war out, been going for a long time. You know, making excuses. Bless him. Uh, seems like the older I get, the uh, uh, worse this old body feels. Amen. And I asked him one other morning, I said, I didn't know it was supposed to hurt like this. Amen. But I thank God that I'm able to get up and move this little yes, more. Amen. 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 And, uh, you pray. I, I thought about this a long time and, and uh, thought about this old song that's been handed down for years and years and years and I'm not much of a singer yes. just listen to the words to Bless it God. and I used to sit in the back of the church when I was a young convert and I'd listen to an old preacher sing this old song and mm -hmm. that old man had sing with so much love yes. and he'd preach I'd listen to him watch him and he'd preach messages that other <coughs> preachers couldn't get by with amen because they didn't preach it with the love that this man preached with he loved the people, he loved God, he just loved living for the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. and praise God, it'll make a difference if you yes. love somebody. Hey. This old man would sing this song and he'd cry and he'd look way over yonder in the other side. Amen. And sometimes I believe you could see heaven, praise God. He, he was so close. Hey. And tears would run down his face. And I, I'd sit in the back of the church and I'd wonder why it tore him up so bad to sing that song. Amen. And why it got to him. And, I come to the realization, I can praise God that I've walked this way like as many years as God's let me be in the ministry and be as saved, amen, and praise God to see the things of life. And I've walked with people in the hospital, I've walked with them and led the funeral procession down to the old graveyard many a time and I've seen people's afflictions and I've seen their heartache, sister, and I've watched them suffer through life and struggle to make ends meet. Bless him, Praise God to see them when they couldn't make their light bills. Jeff and their house was cold because they didn't have no heat. Amen. I've seen them when they didn't have no shampoo or no toilet paper or anything to live with. Praise God. Bless him. And I've watched them suffer. Amen. God's people. Yeah. Praise God. The Bible said the sufferings of this life is not to be compared with the glory of God. Praise God we're going to thank face you, things. But I thank Amen. God one day out of why we're going to come out on top. Amen. Amen. So you pray. And the sing, I, I'm going to try to sing this song for Brother Jim. Amen. And I tell these youngins at church all the time, you may not never have another chance. Amen. I, I, I pour it on them, Terry, and sometimes they put it right back on me. Amen. Amen. So you pray tonight, praise God. And the things he's a singing about in life, praise God, the water he was wading through is the troubles and the trials and the tribulations and the struggles of life. But praise God, he's at home with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, I can remember that several, Lord, I can just see you pray real hard tonight. God being my helper, we just want to do what God had for us to do, nothing Amen. else. So you pray. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I hear voices up in glory. I hear voices up in glory. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I'm gonna shake black hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna shake black hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna shake black hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna shake black hands with the elders. I'm gonna shake black hands with the elders when I get home. 
I'm gonna sit down. Well, come table, take it on. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. Take it on. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. When I get home. I'm gonna ride on the clouds on the glory all the way home. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory all the way home. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory all the way home. I'm gonna sit down by the side of my Jesus. I'm gonna sit down by the side of my Jesus when I get home. I'm gonna sit down by the side of my Jesus. I'm gonna sit down by the side of my Jesus. I'm gonna sit down by the side of my Jesus when I get home. I've been waiting through the waters, trying to get home. I've been waiting through the waters, trying to get home. I've been waiting through the waters. I've been waiting through the waters. I've been waiting through the waters. Give us grace. Keep going, youngins. Keep going. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Have you ever felt like it got them up to your chin? You couldn't yes. breathe. Have you ever been weighted down so strong? Praise God. It felt like you didn't even want to get out of the bed of the morning. Amen. You ever felt alone? Praise God. In a room full of people. Have you? Praise God. Have you ever felt that way in times past? Amen. And then all at once, when you get to your lowest, Amen. The hand of God just comes by. Amen. Just brushes. She's by amen. amen. It seems like everything's okay. Can I get an amen? amen. I tell people all the time, praise God, wait just till tomorrow. Amen. Give it one more day and see what God can do for you. Can I get an amen? amen. Praise God, listen to me. I've talked to a million people. Amen. Just give up on amen. life. Thought nobody loved them. Amen. And didn't amen. care anymore. Amen. 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 Talked to one that had a gun in her head. Amen. Praise God. Wait and praise God to hang up. Amen to blow her brains out. Amen. I just kept telling her, I praise God, God's got the answer. Let's wait one more day. I'm going to preach a little bit. Amen. I kept telling her, it ain't God's will that you kill yourself. Amen. She said, how do you know? I said, for the Bible said, at the hiring, amen, which is the enemy, praise God. I've come up but for the steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. But Jesus said, I have come to give life Amen. and life more power and glory to God. God wants you to be alive. Amen. He didn't come to take, but hey, He didn't come to take your life. He came to give you a better life. He came to give you more life and more abundant. Amen. Praise be unto God. Now listen. Hallelujah. God works in mysterious ways, but God's always got somebody with the right words. Amen. Now this, I why it's on my mind. Obey the Lord. Preach. You don't care if I preach a little, do you? I why it's come to my mind. You don't know what's on people's mind. Hey. Hey. You can stand and be a talking to them and act like the happiest person in this world. Come on. And praise God their whole world. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Come on. Hey. 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 Amen. That's the truth, brother. The battles of life is overwhelming them and they can't even breathe anymore. Okay. And they're standing there smiling and talking to yes. you and you don't even know what's Amen. going on in their life. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's true. Preaching. Use I used to hump with my dad all the time and I'd give anything in this life to her if he could go with me and my nephew one uh -huh. more time. Hey. Uh -huh. Me and my daddy's hunted all over these mountains back in here. We walk all over these mountains, praise God, together and go to the tree. They wasn't nothing that my dad liked any better than to hear a good dog a tree. Amen. We'd go and we'd spend time together and 
Praise God, amen. Jeff and I miss it so bad. I can't hardly stand it. Never once in a while. When Dylan's little old young dog trees, praise God, I'd like for my dad to be there so bad that I can't hardly stand it. Yes. Amen. I even offered to carry him to the tree, praise God, if he'd go with us. And he said, if I go, I'll have another dog. I said, that I'll give you one. Hey. I'll give you mine, praise Bless God. I'd give you anything in life if I could go back to tree one more time and spend one more night with my dad hey. in the mountains of North Carolina and hear an old dog tree, praise God. Because I've got one I believe you like, amen, and I'll just give it to him, amen, just to see his face one more time, amen, to let my nephew spend and make memories with my dad one more time. I'd give anything in life, praise God. But me and my dad was a hunting one night. I don't know why this is on my mind, and I'm going to preach a little. God be my helper, amen. And We'd hunted all over Big Springs Mountain up there one night and we'd tree and my dad's just like the rest of us, Jeff. Praise God, you get a good quick hunt, amen. You don't have to walk far and them old dogs blow the top out of that thing, amen. You feel so good you can hunt all night long. Amen. We treed, amen, up on top of the mountain. Treed us about three in one tree. And Dad, he's about to go off the deep end. And praise God, had some pretty good dogs back in. We was coming down the big springs that night. And amen, Dad said, so let's go on down here and we'll turn loose one more time. Down here, praise God, at this old house. He said, you know, we tree pretty quick. So we can get another and up a tree. He said, listen down the tree one more time. And the closer we got down to Gillespie Church, the heart of the Lord touched my heart. And I got down there and I said, Dad, okay, I got to go home. And he said, why? I said, you can turn loose one more time. I said, no, I don't know. But God said to go home. I've got to get home. I said, you take my dogs and do whatever you want to with them. And I said, but I've got to go home. I can't wait. I said, you got to take me home now. So God was telling me to go home. And I went home and I sat down on the couch and just as I sat down the phone rung and praise God I know did while I was at home and there's a young man in Lansing, North Carolina, praise God, and he was distraught and he's about to kill himself. And he called me and he said, Preacher said, I just want you to know one thing. He said, I called you for the last time tonight just to tell you that you've been a friend to me. And he said, I can't stand no more. He said, I'm going to end it tonight. And he said, I just want you to know before I go. He said, I love you. And I sat there and I cried, babe. And I said, son, please don't do it. He said, you don't understand. He said, I backslid on God. And he said, I can't ever come back. And I said, I don't know who's alive to you. He said, there's a preacher told me yesterday. He said, I'll never be able to get back in the tomb with God. He said, I backslid. He said, if you ever leave God, you can't come back. I said, son, that's a lie right out of hell, amen. I said, the Savior died for you. This is what was on my mind when I sat down here tonight. The Bible said that Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost, amen. To give life to the dying, hallelujah. And the Bible said, He told them in the Word of God, He said, I have sheep that's not among this fold. And He said, I must pray for Him. And I began to explain to this young man, that God don't want to take your life. That God don't want you to be destroyed. He don't want you to be lost. He don't want you to be backslid. He sent the best heaven and heaven, amen, to die on the cross of Calvary. Amen for a wretch like me. And we can go free and have life, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Woo! He said, I need to pray. I said, praise God. I said, you need to pray. I'll come pray with you. He said, you don't understand. He said, I need an altar. I need to go to church. He said, I'll wait till Sunday morning. I said, you better not wait till Sunday morning because the way the devil's about you, you may not be in this slow world, amen. I said, I've got a key to a little church down the road. I said, if you'll meet me there, I said, I'll pray to deliverance come. We went down to that little church and I met him until about 1.30 in the morning. I see heaven move. That boy's still alive. Blessed be Lord. Have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, God. 
Jesus came to give life, not to take it. That liar, the devil, is trying to steal your life. That's so true, brother. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I watched on my mind. I don't know why it come like it did to break this for somebody. Yeah. Just as sure as God sent me home. Man. As much as I love to hunt with my dad. To <laughs> send him into that camp sturdy because he knows there's a call to come. Yeah. I'm here tonight to help you. Amen. You see, I don't know what your, in your life is. Amen. And children of God go through things that sometimes they can't even handle. Amen. And they feel like killing their Come on. The devil tells them, Piggy, that it's no, just go ahead and end it and be easier. Uh -huh. Praise God. Amen. People will be better off without you. That's a lie. That's Amen. Right. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Praise yeah. God. There's a little old preacher that lives on fire in your church room that needs you. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. I couldn't live life without you, brother. You know what I look for in the morning and the evening? A little red truck that comes by, praise God, with a smiling face. He makes my day, praise God, because I know that I've got a neighbor that loves Jesus. Amen. A young man that's living for the Lord. Now, praise God, that makes something in my life. Say, preacher, you're crazy. I may be crazy tonight, Brother Tim, but I know what God said tonight. Amen. Let me tell you something. What a little boy said. My God, you may think you're worthless. You may think you're no good for nothing. He can't help nobody. But let me tell you something. Let's him go. Have your way, God. I used to teach Sunday school down up Grove Baptist Church. You see, I never was took to church. I, I didn't know nothing about Sunday school, didn't know nothing about teaching, preaching. I'd never been into a Bible school a Bible school. The Lord saved me, called me to preach. Didn't know nothing about his sister, but it's one of the greatest events in my life. Oh, yeah. And the first year around here I ever got to teach, I mean, in Bible school, we had the young adults, me and my wife taught one of the highlights of my life. And I had a whole classroom, praise God, the fellowship hall was full of young people, young adults, and I like to watch them, I like to look in their eyes and see the light shining in their eyes. And there's one little boy that God sent to our church in the Bible school and he was autistic. Amen. And that year I was teaching on Noah's Ark, Randy, and that little boy could figure out how many animals was in that boat, amen, by how many species of animals there were in the world and how many numbers that God put in that boat. And he told us how many. He was unreal, amen. And his mind was just like a sponge and he would soak it up, amen. And one night, praise God, in that little meeting we was in the church heard Robin. He looked around the table and he jumped up and he said, Preacher David, can I say something? And I said, go ahead, Chris. And he walked around that table. Hey, man, I'll never forget what he said to people. You get a hold of this. He said, I just want to tell you young people. He said, if somebody's made fun of you or somebody's hurt your feelings, and I started to cry. Because you have no idea what this little boy had been through. And he began to go on and to tell those children, he said, I just wanted you to know tonight that God does not make junk. Amen. Amen. You're all special yeah. in your own way. <laughs> Amen. 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 That little boy, praise God, kept coming to Bible school and every evening he'd ask me about Jesus and about salvation. Yeah. I knew what was fixing yeah. to happen. Uh -huh. And before Sunday Bible school was over, brother, he'd give his life to Jesus. Yeah. And come to find out when I figured out what was going on, his mama would sneak him out, praise God, and bring him to church. His daddy, amen, praise God, would beat his mother for coming to church. Amen, his daddy was lost and was a drunk and an alcoholic, and I've been there. I know how that is. 
and praise God before you know it. You know what happened, amen, and later on in life, and a little later in years, he's a great young man right now. But you know what happened, Terry? His mama got saved. Amen. amen. Chris won his mama to the Lord. And the part was over with. He won his daddy to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Now they're all saved and baptized. Come on, pray God. Say, praise you pray. You see, God don't make junk. God does not make mistakes. And God wants you to have the best in life. Amen. Praise God. That's the reason He sent the best of heaven. Amen. And hung Him on the cross so you can have access to the throne room of God. Bless him, God. Have your way. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> when I went to church for the first time, I wasn't looking for God. They told me, he said, the best thing ever happened to you, Dave Wiles, is when you found the Lord. I said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> the Lord was lost. <laughs> You see, Jim, I was lost. And he's looking for me. Amen. I'm the one he came looking for. You're the one he came looking for. Hurry on that Wednesday night. He came looking for the lost sheep of Israel. Praise God, ain't you glad he found you and carried you back to the pole? Amen. Ain't you glad you're part of this thing? Amen. Got something to live for. Amen. Praise God. The devil's a liar. He's a deceiver. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> you. Yes. Yes. You've been looking for the broken hearted. Bless you, God. Dad, you? I'm glad he came looking for me. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 You know the best thing about God is He just don't randomly look. He knows where you're at before you start. Thank you, yes, sir. When He went to Samaria, praise God, He knew there'd be a woman in the well. Amen. And people say there ain't no excitement in this thing. I ain't been to a church one time. Me and my wife went. I used to try to help a group sing, Amen, and try to hide the call in the well, Amen, and it didn't work. But anyway, we went over there. And Hey man, I've always had a big mouth, couldn't I? I ain't never been able to control it. But this man stood in the pulpit, praise God, and told the congregation, you can worship God in silence and in order in your seat. I looked at my wife and I said, we're in the wrong place. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're one of them people that thinks there's no excitement in this thing, you need to get a hold of something that's alive. Yeah. Yeah. For the woman at the well, amen, yeah. the Bible said, praise God, whenever Jesus told her, said, woman, if you didn't know who it was to ask you a drink, you'd ask me a, a yeah. drink of water. And I'd put you a drink of water, amen, that sprang up into everlasting yeah. life. And the Bible said she throwed her water pot down and went into the city and began to tell the people, said, praise God, amen. come and see a man. That's told me all that I've done, amen. amen. And the Bible said some of them believed in her word and the rest of them come to see for herself. Yeah, you see, there may not be no excitement, people said, amen. but she forgot about the world. I throw the water pot down amen. and began to drink from a fountain, amen, amen. A water that Yeah, true. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Tonight, I don't know what you're going through. Yes. Every word. You know, sometimes, sister, people be in distress and they're hurting so bad they can't breathe and they don't know how to turn. And I've heard people walk up to them and say, I know how you feel. Let me tell you something tonight. Unless you walk a mile in the middle of shoes, Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. I've said that a minute of a time. Until you feel the pain, yeah. of the day, you'll never understand. And you can't have compassion. Anymore. That's exactly right. The best thing you can do, praise God, yes, is to tell you, brother, and you'll walk through Amen. it. Amen. Amen. 
that's the only comfort people can get. Come on. Amen. Praise God. You can't tell them you know unless you know. Praise God. Amen. Right. Tonight I cannot stand here and tell you what you're going through that I understand. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. I don't know what it is. Somebody's going through something. Amen. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Young people go through things now that, praise God, I could never yeah. imagine. Praise God. Yeah. I'm proud of these youngest. Praise God. It's a singing for the Lord. Yeah. I'm proud of this young man to get up yeah. and be put forth an effort. Yeah. Amen. To sing with our children. I'm proud of Sister Haley that's led our children. Amen. Yeah. Praise God to sing for the glory yeah. of God. Yeah. I'm proud of them tonight. And I pray the God of heaven would use to stand in the school yes. system. You see, church, you don't understand. This young lady had a project. The song, some of the songs she sung, she wrote, praise God, and sung them in her classroom to be graded on. Praise God, I'm telling you right now, I'd hate to be the teacher that wouldn't give her an A+. Amen. Praise God. Now let me tell you something. If God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. Child of God, don't give up. Yes. Amen. Hey. Oh, can you wait one more day to give God you time to work? Amen. Come on, Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. It's working out. So the preacher, you don't understand. I can't pay my bills. I've been there. Now that I understand. Amen. I've sold cars. I've sold horses. I've sold guns. I sold dogs. <laughs> Sold everything I've ever owned, praise God, that was dear to me to keep the clothes on my children and food on the table and a roof over the back. I tell you, it's one time in particular, I didn't have no money, didn't have nothing to sell, I sold it all. <coughs> Amen. You know what it's going to do, sister? I'm just a young Christian, and I began to pray and I asked God, I said, God, how can I do this? I don't know how it's coming, I don't know what's going to happen, Lord, and they're going to put us out. We ain't gonna make it, Lord. The Lord said, "Just stand still and see that I am God." Yeah. Amen. 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 The next day, the mail room. The Lord said, "Go to the mailbox." I went to the mailbox. Amen. And there was a check in that mailbox for the exact penny to pay my bills. I'm talking about right down to the penny. I know what you mean, brother. I've been there. Yes, sir. <laughs> God began to deal with me, and I'm going to tell this man, and we're going to pray because somebody needs to pray, and I want you to see what God can do. That old tent we worship tonight, we're going to have another. I was going through Linville, North Carolina, and praise God, there's a tent come up the windshield. I was praying to her, and I prayed all the way down and all the way back. And I seen it. I seen the color of it. God said, Buy you a tent. And I said, Lord, I don't have no money. God said, I want you to have a tent. I said, Lord, I don't know how it's coming. He said, I want you to have a tent. I ain't seen the color of it. Nothing else to do with me. And he kept doing with me, he kept doing with me, baby. And I began to pray. I said, All right, Lord, you know I don't have no means to buy this tent. I said, You've got to send it to me. And I said, you send it to me, and praise God, I'll do what I can to preach under this team. And sister, all at once, praise God, there was calls started coming to my house. People out west, people all over the country, I had no idea even knew who I was. Have no idea who they are today, brother. And they'd say, I was a praying, and God put your name on my mind. And they'd say, I found your number. Said, we call and ask you, how can we help you minister? And I'd say, well, I've been a praying about a revival tent. And praise God, it wouldn't be long, praise God, there'd be a check coming to me. People I didn't even know, amen. And before you know it, praise God, the money was in the bank to buy a tent. And Terry, praise God, prayed about it. 
And all he wants this fellow to come up to me in church and never know me, never know nothing about me. He said, you need a tent preacher. And I said, praise God, I've been afraid about a tent. He said, I know a tent maker in Florida. Amen. He said, here's your number. I called him and that little fellow was a holiness. Amen. And me and him got to having me. We had me for 45 minutes and I forgot about the tent and had to call him back. He said, preacher, I'm going to email you a picture of what I can build you. Amen. And when it started coming up on the screen, the fire of God fell. For it was the right color. It was the right size. Hey, glory to the Lamb of God. Can I get an amen? God said it. And God can use you, child of God. Honey, don't give up on God. He's already set in motion. And He's got something for you. Amen. amen. Why do you think the devil's fighting you so hard? Right? <laughs> Everything in that tent, Jerry, right down to the pulpit. My daddy made that pulpit. I'll tell you about it one of these days. You see, I know what God can do. And I don't know what's on people's heart, but tonight I feel like somebody has went just about as far as you can go. And you don't feel like there's no hope. God help I'd like for you, somebody, to come back and say, I don't care who it is. Praise God, whoever got a song on your heart, I want you to come on. I want you to mind the Spirit of God tonight. <coughs> Somebody's life is what is hot is, is waiting about just tonight. You see, I don't know what's on your mind, but this stuff that come to my mind when I stood up here that you would not believe. Tonight somebody's in trouble, bro. Somebody, the devil has lied to you to the extent that praise God you feel like that there's no use for you to even be alive anymore. He's a liar. He's a liar. Amen. You fit so you can't fight no more. The Lord's looking for you, Lord. Lord we He came to restore the Lord. He came to put back together. Come on. Well, how many times in the Word of God did Jesus go through and raise the dead? Huh? If he wanted you dead, he'd have left them dead in the Bible. If he wants you alive tonight, huh? Come on. The troubles in life that you're going through right now, and the things that the devil's putting on your mind, God's going to restore. And praise God, make a blessing out of the Lord. Listen to me tonight. Say, preacher, you're crazy. I may be the craziest fellow you've ever met in your life, but I'm going to mind the Spirit of God. You see, I come to help you. Lord, you're the reason this revival went through Sunday night. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. Well, let me tell you something. Somebody, everybody ain't going to understand what I'm talking about. There's somebody right here tonight, praise God, by the, by the Spirit of God, the way it's moved here tonight, the face of the sea is God's touch, your heart, touch it. Break it. Look, the devil stole to your wishes. Lord, just be great. Great. Pick for nothing. The Lord set you back for the point of God's in your seat. Especially in the house of God. Father, we pray to Come on. Lord, go ahead, y'all. Church, God, Jesus Christ, come looking for you. Lord, you come and pray. Lord, see, the devil's even telling me, praise God, I'll keep you with you. Listen, listen to the song. And the road is rough and long. See, I feel the devil. Sometimes my feet. You feel it. I don't know what he sounds like. He's a liar tonight. He's a deceiver. Come on. Praise God. Come on. 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 Yeah, can't you feel heaven a moving? And I 
Amen. In 15 minutes, he had her back to work and took care of her car. You see, I didn't have to worry about my girl. You know why? Because God had a young man named Pete. That you can trust. Amen. Praise God with your family. Amen. Hey, hey, come on now. You see, God has got a plan for everybody that's sitting here tonight. Don't you know that? Amen. Bless you, Lord. I love you, man. Have your way, guys. God loves you today. Yes, man. I thank God, sister. God's able. Yes, amen. No matter what it is, yes. people, young people. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It don't matter, praise God, what you face. God's yes. bigger than any man. Amen. 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 God's bigger than any problem. Amen. 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 That's the God we serve. If God wants you to have it, there ain't nothing the devil can do about it. Hey. Give it to you, amen. amen. Get out of the back up and just cry about it, amen. amen. Brother Rex Hall used to say, the devil's mad and I'm glad. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. It's a blessing, Lord. Sometimes I like to make this, this stuff mad, praise God. It hits yeah. me, don't you be? Amen. 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 I've always done a little round bunch this all my yeah. life. A whole lot of years ago. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Have your way. The Bible said over there in the place of Amen that there's a king who sought for an old man gone. And he was distraught because this other king told him, he said, You'll give me your women, your children, your land, your cattle, your herds. He said, I'm coming to destroy you. And he sought an old man gone, Amen, for some advice. And that old man of God said, don't wait till he sends you another letter. Yeah. He said, just go ahead and write him back and tell him, you can't have our women. Hey. You can't have our children. And praise God, you can't have my lands, you can't have my herd sister. Praise God, it's time God's people to say, hey. say that you me. can't have nothing that I've got because I've given to the Lord hey. and I'm going through. Can I get an amen? Hey. The Bible said to submit yourself My dad go hunt with us one more time. I want to see Brian in church. That's my heart's desire. Amen. Amen. You know what the Bible says that God will give you the sincere desire yes, of your heart. I reckon. Come on. Amen. 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 God done something for somebody here tonight, praise God, and nobody knows Amen. that. I'll be for that. Amen. Amen. I'll be Amen. Amen. You see, all I know is God, that's all that matters to me. That's right. Amen. 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 You see, Jesus <coughs> come up on this hill this evening Amen. with me. Amen. Seeking, Amen. brother, for somebody. Amen. Church, I love you tonight. And I pray to God you know that. Amen. Jeff, you know the reason I walk the way I walk and I preach the way I preach. because I love you. Amen. Amen. I love that little boy of yours and your wife. Amen. I want your family to be where it needs to be with God, Brother Mitchell, praise God that we could just go on to be yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. The reason I pick on these young ones all the time is because I love them. Amen. 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 I'm looking forward to riding horses with this young one one more time before I leave this world. Bless you. Praise God. Me and her has us a time, praise God. Bless Ain't you. nobody else there played tiger in the whole side of the home. Praise God, me and her have. <laughs> Amen. Bless the Lord. Don't We've been making memories. The preacher, you crazy. I promise you one thing in life, sister. I may leave before this baby does. Bless it. When times to come, God lets this world go on, and she gets to be a grown woman and has children of her own. She's got a love for a little spotted horse over yonder that will not end. And I promise you, somewhere in life, she'll have some horses saddled. 
and her kids will be in the barn to play and she'll go to play riding horses and she'll remember that old preacher played tag with her Damn. on that little horse. Damn. And she'll begin to tell him, say, you ought to know the man that loved us one time. Damn. He told us the truth. Wasn't like everybody is. Amen. You see, I don't want to be like everybody yes. is. I want to be found telling the truth. Amen. 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 Somebody, brother. <clears throat> Amen. You see, it means something. Amen. Amen. The opposite of love is deed, not just in word. Yeah, that's right. Amen. I believe if somebody loves you, they'll show you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hush, brother Daddy. Come on. I, I, I'd like to say this to the church. I, I really am honored to be in Farmer's Church tonight. Amen. And it's a great honor to be here one more time. Amen. It's a great honor to stand in this building. It's been here so many years. And praise God, preach the wonderful words. Of the Lord Jesus Christ one more time. Yes, sir. But you see, it's an honor for me. And I thank God for everybody that's here. Make up this, this church and this community. Thank God for this preacher. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Hey, I, I like it. I don't know about everybody else. I'm going to hush, bro. Bless you. I thank God for these young men. Praise God. I, I, I just, I don't know. Amen. I, I, yeah. I just, I, I, you just don't understand. Amen. Amen. How full my heart is. Amen. To bless Amen. You. Praise yes. God, brother. God. I love you. I love you. And I thank God for you. And I, I pray to God that God just, you pray for me. God just use me one more time. Yes. I just like to tell it one more time, sister. Sometimes I thank every day, Sister Penny, Lord, just give me one more place to stand. I can tell it one more time. Yes, amen. I can help somebody in life. Thank the Lord. You see, they, some of these young people that wants off the drugs, they need somebody to give them some encouragement and let them know that amen. you can't amen. 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 There's too many that say that if you ever get on it, you can't get off of it. That's a lie right out of hell. I want a man to help you. Praise God. Thank you. Mercy and the grace of God. Uh, yeah. I know. God I know. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Praise God for the fellowship tonight. Tell one another you love them. Yes. Tell them you got your back. Amen. Praise Thank God. You. Tell them you're going to be a help to them. When they need you, go and stand with them. Praise God. Let them know you're here for a Thank Brother, I don't care what time of night it is. If you need anything from me, praise God, you call me. If you get down in your back, I'll pick you up. I'll get you home. I'll help you if you just let me know. Amen. I mean, if I can't get it, then you got it. I know people with hats, praise God, we can get to you. You know what the Bible is? The Bible says that for a man to have friends, you must first show to yourself to be a Amen. And there is a friend that sticks closer hey, to you, brother. Yeah, and I tell people nice. all the time, Amen. if you want a neighbor, you've got to be a neighbor. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yeah. You've got to be a neighbor first. But yeah. man, praise right. God, so they know you care about them. And the Bible says you love your neighbor. Amen. Hey. More than you love yourself. Amen. Hey. Brother Tim, it's an honor to be with you one more time. Oh, you made it work. Oh, you made it work. I thank God. Brother Daddy, you come, you come close out. I ain't no good at closing out with me all night. Brother, that's all. Church, I love you. Praise God. God bless you. Praise God. My prayer. Amen. 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 Praise God. Appreciate the little buddy back there. I ain't seen him in years. Had a look at him two or three times before he recognized him. I'll know you next time. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Appreciate you coming back the way you have. Be encouraged. We're looking through. We're looking through the rough times here on earth. But, you know, the darkest there is a song. The darkest there is just before dawn. That's right. Uh, like the brothers of the song. Hold on a little longer, help someone. That's right. There you go. Anyone has a need to, uh, if I don't sing a song to somebody, I'm not going to be looking for it. They can hear me. Uh, got the one. Bless you. If you've got a need, that brother's preaching his heart out every night, this weekend. If you've got a need of any kind, I know where God's able to touch you. Hey. Touch you. I'm looking forward to the day, and I gotta get up this morning probably as early, not earlier than anybody in here. I gotta be, I gotta be work at six o'clock. Got about uh, uh, seven, eight, probably gonna eat every round trip. 
go tomorrow but anyway i'm looking forward to the day it's gonna be nice when we get to a place so we can sit <coughs> we can just sit down and sing and pray the first thing that you're out of here amen amen so if you don't know this lord save me brother david what a good time to be what a good time to know say brother brother dad how do i get this do i need to sign the church book no. do i need to be water baptized no that's all good that comes back that's right hey i believe i gotta say that i gotta believe more i'm just gonna be for a second yeah. I told someone with us, y'all pray for him. He says, I said, you really need your heart for the Lord. You don't know, you don't know the life I've lived. You don't know the things that I've done. I said, you don't know the God I serve. Hey, right. 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 There's no way you can acquire this. I can't live a good enough life. The devil told me when I got before I got saved, he said, there's no use you do it. There's absolutely no way you can live a Christian life. You know, the devil's absolutely right. The devil's absolutely right. Quiet. You know, the devil's famous for telling you to hate the truth. That's right. Just like you to see that as me. Hey. Part of what he told the truth. There's only two spirits in the land. Bird, Bill, Oxford, Spirit, of Satan. You've got one of them. You cannot live a Christian life. The devil's holding something back from you, just like you knew me. What the devil didn't tell me, you make your way down the aisle and you kneel down and you give it to the Lord. That evil spirit's gone and the Holy Spirit comes in. That's right. You can me. Amen. You can me. Amen. 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 It's all about him. It's all about him. I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> Y'all know a song of heart. Sing with me. <laughs> Once I was lost and seeking the way, the truth and the answer seemed so far away. I met the Savior hey. when I knelt to pray. He saved my soul, and that's why I say, Mercy and grace, mercy and grace. Yeah. And I grab my brown and put some hey. in his place. Mercy and grace, mercy and grace. That's why I <laughs> smile on me. Now if you are lost and seeking him too, just draw nigh to me.
It's been good. I, I want to say, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I, I can honestly say, God be my witness, that I've been faithful. Amen. Hey. I've been faithful. I did. I did. It was for me. It didn't help anyone else. But it didn't help. Well, I know it did, but what I'm saying is, you know, you go to a lot of these restaurants, you can tell I don't go hungry. But you, you go to a lot of these restaurants, you know, there's, there's a lot of these places you can go and you just pay one price and it's there and you just fill up. What good is it going to do, you know? You know, you sit around watching everybody else eat. Don't get me to it. That's why I get them on the table and dig in. Amen. Appreciate each one that's made the way out. What a big word on anyone talk for me. I want to thank God for my failure tonight. Thank you, God bless you all. Appreciate this, brother. God bless you. I just want to thank the Lord for. Give me one more chance. I try to take my life. And if it stay worth it, the devil will tell you anything. You will, brother. And I just think we give me one more day. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've been through a lot, but the devil's took my life from me. I've been a through worse battles than I was when I took my life. But after the Lord got there, he was on my side. Hey. He's already helped me through it. And it ain't worth it taking your life. Come on. You know what I mean? It's just. And don't give up. I'm living proof that there's a chance for anybody. Hey, there, as long as you turn your hey, life over to the Lord. I try. You just don't give up. Praise God. Hey. You want to hear the devil? Devil, 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 that thing in your mind. Oh, you know, you know, all of us. Sure, devil. He's good in his just to see. He's a deceiver. Amen. He's a liar. The Bible says a father is the God's good God. Amen. Just talk, talk to the Lord about it. Lay down, lay down. I, I, like, I like to give it all the Lord before I go to sleep at night. Lay down. Yes. There's nothing any sweeter than that peace yes. that comes on you. No, oh, you want to have that pain like that. I got me and me and Brandy. We, we got a lot of common. I love it, brother. But we both, we're being bothered right now with sciatica. Anybody knows what that is? You, you don't, trust me, you don't want it. But the, I had an operation several years back. This morning during church, it hit me my about took my breath. Yeah. I know God say, but no matter what you're going through with, yeah. you know, when you lay your head down on the night, on, on the pillow at night, the Lord is in your hands. Yeah. If I wake up, thank you, Lord. If I don't, <laughs> it's even better. The Lord will be your friend. Peace. Anyone else pay thank you for I'm your guitar, sir. Absolutely. It's, 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 Come on. You better go play the Lord. You get a spanking. I can't go home another night without trying. Praise the Spirit of God. That's a pleasure. I'm like, David, you can turn this thing off here. You don't need that. All right. No. Just have whatever makes you happy. I want to say something before he sings. Oh, come on, uh, sit with it. Saturday, I had to work and I went to the fruit stand wanted to get a good tomato if there is such a thing this time of year got there and there wasn't open yet and I just kind of stuck my head in the door and that woman was just plum ugly to me oh <laughs> and I tell you right now I just I don't know it just flew all over me and I just I just thanked her she went ahead and sold me the tomato I went on back to work and I talked to this woman on the phone. They were fussing and fighting. Her mother died. And the brother wouldn't let them in the house. And they was fussing and fighting. And so we done what we could do. And anyway, I left. And it was time to go home. And I come outside. And there was two or three women standing there. And I walked by them. And I said, can I help you? And she said, no, we're fine. And I went ahead and I got in my truck and I seen them go up to the door to start to go in. And uh, it was locked. They couldn't go in. It, it, you can't go in that door on the weekends. And So anyway, I went, got back out of my truck and just left the door open and walked up to them. And it was the same woman that I had just talked to a few hours before. And... Uh, she got to talking and telling about all the trouble they'd had and the fussing with the brother. And 
I said, I kind of know what you're going through. I said, uh, I took care of my stepmother for years. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it come to pass and the, she had left everything to her daughter. And I've heard David tell it many of the time that if you're adopted, you have the right. You have as much right as anybody, but if you're not, the law don't recognize you. Anyway, the sister, the daughter, Arlene's daughter, uh, she won this big price and all this stuff. And I told her, I said, I'm just going to trust in God. I said, it is not worth nothing fussing and fighting to come between me and God. And I just sat and I waited and I waited and I was like, the Lord said, okay, do this on this day. And I do it on that day and I just waited. And it's hard for me to wait. I'm impatient. And, you know, it's all come to pass. And I said, if the Lord's meant for me to have anything, the Lord will provide. Amen. But I yeah. did know that there, I was not going to do nothing. And I even thought about, did I do that? what i done all them years, thinking I was going to get that place. And I kept thinking, no, I am going to do the right thing. Yeah. There was an old woman that needed help. Come on, sister. And people would say to me, well, if I just let her daughter come, and I said, I'm going to do the right thing, whether I get nothing. The Lord has took care of all of me. And He is good to me. I'll tell you right now. Bless you, God. I've had surgeries and surgeries and surgeries. And the Lord had just right down to the pen, He said, Money, and it would all be taken care of. Yes, amen. Thank and you. He is good. But I know one thing there's nothing in this world that's worth coming between you and God. Amen. 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 How true that is. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Bless him, Lord. Have your way. Bless him, Lord. I have journeyed through the long, dark night. By faith alone, sight unknown, and yet his eyes were watching me. Yeah. The anchor the ship is battered. Hey. The anchor holds. Yes, it does. Yes, The sails are torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging sea. The anchor holds yeah. Yeah. in spite of the storm. After that, I've had visions and I've had dreams. And I've even held them in my hands. But I'm there. They could slip right through Like they were only grains of sand Bless you, Lord The anchor holds Though the ship is battered Amen, bless you, Lord The anchor holds Though the sails are torn I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging sea. The anchor holds in spite.
spite of the storms I've been young But I'm older now There has been beauty These eyes have seen Amen. But it was in the night When I faced the storms of my life yeah, yeah. Oh, that's where God proved His love to me. Yeah, he the anchor home. Yeah. The ship is battered. The anchor holds. No sails are torn. I have fallen. As I face rage and sea, the anchor holds in spite of the storm. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Anyone else have anything to share with us? Come on, sit down. I Amen. 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 He never Amen. left me. Amen. I turned on 
him. But he never left me. I can always go back to that altar. Whenever I have doubt, I have fear, I go to that altar. Amen. That's what we're for. That's right. Amen. And I thank God for that altar. I thank Amen. God for the praying people that Amen. pray for me. Amen. And they're touched. And we need each other. Amen. Amen. We need each Amen. other. Amen. How true that is. You know, there's nothing at all wrong about coming to home. Somebody said, well, I, I, you know, everybody knows I'm saved and I go to church. It don't matter. And our kids are free. Yes. Amen. 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 You know, there are times, even in my ministry, especially in my ministry, I guess, I've got keys, of course, to this church. I've got keys to my new church. And I go back there many times. Absolutely no one there me and the Lord. And kneel down. Be here and over there too and pray. Burdens on your heart, needs, worries. You say worries. That's what God was for. There's nothing wrong. No one and I know will ever say anything about the coming of the Lord. Regardless of me, that's what the Lord is for. I appreciate the appreciate the chair that she that she had. She had a dad. I guess uh, had as much inspiration on my life as anyone I know was. God bless his heart. We miss him. I ain't but grace to God. I promise to God's word we'll see him again. Amen. Amen. Anyone else have anything to share with us before we dismiss? I just want to say I'm living proof that the Lord does heal. Amen. Yes. And I would have not made it through it without him, but I wouldn't have made it through without all the people praying for me. I never got sick of time. Good. It's been ten years for me. Pray. Good. And again. But I, I told the doctors, I said, they said, if you do this, you'll have this much percent chance of surviving. If you do this, I said, I'm just going to trust in the Lord. That's the God we serve. He's able to deliver, heal, save. I'd rather they preach. Not only give you life, that's why. I didn't know what life was. Anyone else? God bless you. Brother Danny, I'd just like to say that I just I just thank the Lord for this this week. It's been a blessing to me. I got fed every day and I thank God for saving my soul yes, and right. giving me a new home in heaven someday. Amen. Amen. There you go. What a testament. Anyone else? I'd just like to thank God for saving me. Yes, you know, I thank God for that Wednesday night. Praise God. When I gave my life to the Lord. I talk back and forth to Jerry all the time. You know, the best text I ever sent that man that night when I said, I just gave my life to the Lord. Praise God. You know, I can still read it in my mind. I had a wonderful idea. You know, that, that's the biggest inspiration. You know, I, I, I love, I brother Peter said this one time, you know, I, he said, you know, it, it's good to have testimony. You know, many of you in you, sitting in you, have been a testimony to me. I mean, you've been a testimony. Why? What do you like? Inspiration. That inspiration, I man. And I appreciate you. <coughs> and I, and I, I, I stand with Brother David on this. I believe in I believe in, in, in taking care of fifty people. And I want you to know if anybody needs to call me. And I do, I get phone calls sometimes all hours. And that's good. I got a phone right by my bed. I don't even have to much more than roll over and pick it up. And I love it. And I've got a lot of the modern stuff and I got it for the right reason. I, uh, I, I dedicate everything I got to the Lord. I had some stuff donated to me that I didn't even know how to use half of it. But I've got some little cars up here, most of them caught one. It's got all my information, my home phone, my cell phone. I can, you can, anything you want to send me, you can text me. You can cell phone, home phone, text, email, whatever it is. I, I've got it, and you need to get in touch with me. There's a way. And, but I, I don't, you know, everywhere I go, I want to uplift the name of the Lord. I want to, I want you to know that if you need me, I'll be there if I can. And if I, sometimes I travel great distances, if I can't be there. I can pray, and there's no distance to that. Hey. There's no distance. Appreciate each one. Anything else on anyone else's heart? For this minute. If not, that's all standard. See? So we'll just miss in a prayer, and then we're going to have fellowship. <coughs>
All hearts and all minds, please. So uh, we're going to dismiss. We're going to ask Brother Dave while well, they're back here at the back door. Uh, I want every, each and every one of you to shake hands with him let him know how much you appreciate it. Let him know you're going to be praying for him and his ministry. And don't dare say that to to me. But let him know that you're there. We'll be praying for him back here. I believe with all my heart. Amen.